Lettuce Heads, it's Charlotte from The Lettuce Podcast. This is my vlog where I talk about what I'm watching, what I'm doing, all the really super exciting stuff I'm sure that everyone has been waiting for. You know, it's just so exciting. I know. Okay, so let's just talk about two of the shows that I'm watching that are sort of winding down to their season finales. And actually, the one that I'm going to talk about first, their season finale is happening right now and I'm not watching it. Had to do my vlog. I'll catch up later. But right now the season finale of uh, Survivor is going on. They have the final four. Uh, what's awesome is they have three girls and then Ty. Um, so I'm really excited to see what's happening. Um, sort of one of my uh, guilty pleasures is watching Survivor, but it's still fun to see how things end up. And this season has been exciting with all of the um, medical things happening because you know Joe just went home the 71 year old um, all that so it'll be exciting to see what happens um, the other stuff that I w I'm watching is Dancing with the Stars yes yes I know I have terrible taste in shows but um, the finale will be happening this next Monday um, that will be against Paige, Niall, and then Ginger Z and so that will be fun too because all of them are really good. The only person I don't really like, which I'm so surprised because when he started, I loved him, was Niall. Niall is um, the deaf participant, participant, and he is, he's just sort of like throughout the whole show has become super cocky, and I don't really like that. It's like, take some humble pie or something like that because yeah, now I want all the girls to win, apparently, in every show I watch. Um, so the big moment, the thing that we've all been waiting for is Game of Thrones, right? I think there have been four episodes that have come out so far, so there's a lot that's happened, you know? Um, Jon Snow was resurrected, Arya is still training, so she's not very exciting. Um, Tyrion's trying to take over Marine. Uh, Theon is going back to the Iron Islands and had in interactions with Yara. Um, Rickon showing up at Ramsey's, uh, you know, clutches in Winterfell. Uh, <laughs> that's crazy. Bran having these really cool flashback things. Um, potentially even interacting with the past, which is super cool. Um, Brienne and Sansa are together and they're journeying up and then they end up in the Night's Watch um, to go see John, and then John and Sansa have this really awesome moment this last episode. It was just super cool. Um, trying to think what else. Oh, Danny. Um, Danny ended season six, episode four, just amazingly. I mean, again, we see her naked, which is funny because apparently she signed this thing where she didn't think she was going to ever do that again and then she's released all these articles now where you know oh, I'm so happy I did it yada 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 um so you know at the end of the day I'm I'm happy that she did it I think it was very dramatic um I'm not happy she did it just because I like to see boobs it's more just it was dramatic there you go um Trying to think, oh, Littlefinger with Robin, that was super cool. I can't wait to see Littlefinger and Sansa interact in the future. I mean, and just seeing how Jon Snow has reacted ever since he was resurrected, it's just really awesome. I think the only storyline I'm not as interested in is, well, Dorne, but that's not a big surprise. Not a lot of people are interested in that. And then um, just the Lannisters. Jamie and Cersei working together trying to get you know Lady Olena on their side it looks like that's gonna work um seeing Marjorie with her brother it's just like it's just a yawn and then the High Sparrow it's just I'm not interested every time they go there I'm just like hope this ends soon um you know at, at, at some point I think we all know what's going to happen Tommen's gonna get killed and you know, there's going to be a lot of havoc going on in the city. And also Westeros. <laughs> so, I don't know. I, I'm excited to see what else happens. And at the end of the day, I love this show. I'm a little nervous that we're all outside of book stuff. I mean, yeah, there's little hints here and there of things that 
are from the books, especially like the Greyjoy stuff. Um, that's all things that, you know, um, were in the books. So the King's Moot and stuff like that. I mean, that'll be exciting to see what happens and how they depict it. We never really got to see, wait, did we get to see? I can't even remember. So I'm not gonna say something stupid. Um, but yeah, I'm excited just because it's just fun. Um, Game of Thrones is just one of those things that has blown up the last few years, even though I started in the beginning, by the way, peoples. Um, and read all the books. I don't know if I've said that. Yeah, read all the books. Um, but, you know, it's just exciting. Um, yeah. Uh, so two other things are not out yet, but I wanted to mention because I'm just excited about them. Um, again, bad taste in shows. I realize The Bachelorette is going to be coming out this next Monday. I'm very, very excited about that, even though I really don't like Jojo. I think she's super fake. Um, it'll be fun to make a fun of at the very least. Um, there you go. Um, and then we also have the World of Warcraft movie coming up. And then the movie that I'm the most excited about on top of that is Me Before You. Um, one of the books I actually read. And um, I'm just excited because it, one, it has Amelia Clark, aka Daenerys from Game of Thrones in it. And it's just a really sweet kind of story. Um, I'm a romantic junkie. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to like that kind of stuff. Um, and I also read the book um, that's after this one, um, Me After You. And I thought that was pretty good. Not as good as the first one. Like, you, like it happens. But, um, yeah, I'm excited about that movie and all that jazz. So... Yeah, I hope that, you know, you guys listen in to our Lettuce Beats episode so you can hear my thoughts on that and listen to our topical episodes. I know we have some really cool, fun stuff. We're going to do a World of Warcraft movie. Um, we're going to be doing um, a guest moderator. Tori's coming back to moderate a book, which will be fun. Um, we just have a lot of cool things up our sleeves for the rest of the year, and I'm just excited to share all of Laura and I's thoughts about everything. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for now. Um, lots of exciting stuff happening, so check into the vlog occasionally. Um, and of course, check out our uh, blog at the lettuce blog the lettuce podcast dot blogspot dot com, or email us at the lettuce podcast at gmail dot com. Um, that's the best place to go. So hopefully. Y'all are doing well. Hopefully you guys can write some comments down here so I can talk about things you're actually interested in instead of just blabbing about what I'm doing. But until next time, Aruga later.